Hello, my beautiful Libras! Welcome to your weekly reading, weekly energies, second week in June. The week when beautiful Pluto planet moves from the retrograde in Aquarius to Capricorn, back to Capricorn, back to normal or the old normal. As you know, certain changes might happen in a blink of an eye. But let's see here, loves. What do we have to face this week? What are those blessings that are on the way? And whatever things comes in and will share with you. General energy loves. Be mindful what you keep and definitely what you leave. We have underneath a page of wands, a king of wands, four of cups, and the magician. It seems here for some of you, definitely you know your worth because you know what your target is. What, whoever I'm speaking today or in this reading could be a Libra could have fire in the chart or you could deal here with the fire. But it seems here that for some of you Libras, there are certain things here that are coming to you or you come to a realization of certain things that actually you are not small as you thought you are. You are much more than that. And the magician is you are becoming the magician of your life. You are the one who can build your life the way you want. There's certain things here that I'm not going to accept something which is less than that. If you don't see me in a certain way, doesn't mean I am the way you see me or vice versa. We have a devil energy here smack in the middle. Eight of Wands, Page of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, Strength. So look at this loves, as many, many of you, you know, only the strength beat the devil. So this very strongly speaks of getting out of a karmic cycle. And I feel here this cycle is whatever kept you small till now can't keep you small any longer. Or whoever seems you small, they are changing their view about you. So indeed here for some of you, you've been growing up whatever you've done and whatever ideas you got out there, share with them loves, grow with them and within them. Because someone here might come around to you and definitely might have some kind of proposal. Doesn't necessarily to feel that it's good or serves you well, but you know much better. There's some kind of um, conversation discussing this week here with someone in particular, or could be a job, could be a um, business owner, could be about someone who definitely they they will try. Let's say that they will try. But I feel here the Libra I'm speaking you. You definitely know your worth because even though they've seen you in this page, now you are in the king energy. So if you are a Libra that is activating in entrepreneurship and somebody here propose you a job or a position in their company, you just feel like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Because somebody here feels a little, or a lot, greedy for whatever they are trying to put on the table. It's kind of like, do you see yourself, whatever you put on the table, or you don't? 
So indeed here for some of you Libras this week, you might realize that actually you are valuable. Actually you can be who you want to be. And actually you see yourself much different than you used to. And of course, your ideas are worth to go ahead with. I will clarify this devil energy. Three of swords. Seven of wands. And five of pentacles. So for some of you, if you felt in this five of pentacles at one point, I feel here now someone will feel that way. And I'll give you a story. Back in time, back in, in my 20s, I used to work for a professional business lady. But when she came in this country, in U.S., she used to work with her dad and in construction. They used to do floors, remodel kitchens, things like that. And over the time she back, so she went to school, she learned. And when she was working with her dad in construction, there was a guy that would laugh at her. Oh, you are a lady. Why are you working in construction? And he was a very pretty wealthy person or let's say rich. But she would not really pay attention. Her English was not pretty well in the beginning and things like that. Over the time she grew, she got into business and grow her wealth. She was pretty wealthy when I used to work with, with her. And at one point she bought the business from that man they used to do construction or remodel at that time or let's say 20, 30 years back. And that point she told me, never ever underestimate someone who works hard and doing their own thing. Because sometimes people definitely will, you know, say things will you know, will tell you that you are not good of this or you are not worth this or and things like that. And I feel here someone here might have been telling you that. Don't listen to them. Because I feel here at one point you felt unappreciated. Now they will when you are just kind of I'm better than this. No, thank you. I'm not going to deal with the small things because from where you used to and where you are, it's a huge difference. So now you're not looking for little things like they still small and you've been growing. So good job, loves. Good job. Know your worth because... You don't need to prove yourself who you are and what you've been and things like that. But I feel here, definitely this person will feel somehow out there. And I feel here could be someone who refused to recognize you for who you are or the efforts you've been putting in. You know, some people tell you, oh, you're not good at this job or you are not making great here and you don't know nothing. You know, things like that. That's, that's very inappropriate because if someone does not perform the way you want, doesn't mean it's not good. Okay? So I feel here someone now changed their mind big time. So are you as well. For others of you, there is a person here, love-wise, probably refused you in the past or were not very much into you. Oh, you're not good at this or you are not at that. 
Now they are contacting you when you are up there. But that is a lesson learned because if they didn't see you when you were down, why they should see you now? So if they didn't appreciate you for who you truly are, why they appreciate you now when you have everything you need? So the fact is, whoever is this person or this energy to you or very much the proof to you that you need to grow and you need to do you which way too little people know about that to do you no matter and whoever tells you because they see you from their own perspective they never see you from yours okay one advice for you, loves. So whatever here will will talk with this person, or you will say about them. It's not like you you will say any any bad thing, but it's just kind of like whatever you've been interested. What when you needed them, or when you were interested in them, they were not. When you needed them, they were not there. So why they need to be now? The advice from spirit is we have the Hierophant. We have the Five of Cups. Somebody here definitely gone through a very strong lesson. And they definitely realize how wrong they were. And at the same time, they realize that people have blessings. There's blessings that they can't see, but others can. Look at this sun here and the Ace of Wands. And also somebody here could could feel here they judge you too quick for who you are so don't judge a book by its cover many times might not be the right thing you see okay yes many people look to look great or you know yes cover looks good sometimes but the essence it's what really matters one advice from the oracles we have give with gratitude and grace being grateful for this person or for the experience you lived with this person because you could do or you could not be in the place where you are today. Look at this. Know your worth. Okay. And magic works through you. Only you can make your life beautiful. Nobody is. And the opinion of others appreciate it. But anyway, do you. And underneath we have embrace the in-between. Yes, things come quite wildly, but definitely I see a Libra who feels like, well, I know who I am. Congrats, loves. Congrats. So Libras, definitely it's a week when you will feel more power than you ever felt. But it's a great feeling that, thank goodness, I follow the guidance from the universe, not from some kind of person or some kind of situation. 
because any experience it's a step forward not a step back blessings loves thank you for coming i hope these messages are resonating with you if does let us know and i'll see you next time namaste